Hola, clase. Miss Robin here. Welcome to music class. Bienvenidos a la clase de español. Let's sing. Vamos a cantar. Buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está? Buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está? Muy bien. Muy bien. Gracias. Gracias. ¿Y usted? Buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está? Buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está? Muy bien, muy bien, gracias. gracias. ¿Y usted? Buenos días, buenos días. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está? Buenos días, buenos días. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está? Muy bien, muy bien, gracias. gracias. ¿Y usted? Buenos días, buenos días, ¿cómo está? ¿Cómo está? Buenos días, buenos días, ¿cómo está? ¿Cómo está? Muy bien, muy bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? ¡Excelente! Today, we're going to talk about Las Pascuas. Now, what does that mean? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to ask you to look at these letters and unscramble the letters to find out what Las Pascuas means. And I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Time's up. Can you guess what Las Pascuas means? Were you able to unscramble the letters? I think someone got it. Easter. Excellent. Excellent. Easter. And um, in Spanish, we say Las Pascuas. Can you repeat after me? Las Pascuas. Otra vez, again, Las Pascuas. Bien hecho. Good job. So the first thing we want to talk about, once again, is how do we say Easter in Spanish? And the simple way to say it is Las Pascuas. So you did a great job. All right, let's move on. We don't need our clock. Let's move on. Now, in order to help us learn about Las Pascuas, we're going to play a little game called What Do You See? Now this is a fun way to help us learn new Spanish words all about Easter. So are you ready to have some fun? All right, let's get started. First we have to learn how to say What do you see in Spanish? Now the boy is asking us a question, El Nino. The boy, El Nino, is asking a question. Study the picture. What do you think El Nino is asking us in Spanish? Que ves means what do you see? Can you repeat after me? Que ves? Repeat after me. Que ves means what do you see? Repeat after me. Que ves? Repeat after me. Que ves means what do you see? So, how do you say what do you see in Spanish? Que ves. Muy bien. Excelente. Next, we have to learn how to say I see something or I see. Veo means I see in Spanish. Repeat after me. Veo. 
Again, veo. Repeat after me. Veo means I see. Repeat after me. Veo means I see. Muy bien. Muy bien. Now let's learn some new Spanish words. Everyone take a good look at our friend here. You know, Easter is all about that bunny, right? So in Spanish, uh, we say el conejo for rabbit. Can you repeat after me? El conejo. El conejo means rabbit. Repeat after me. El conejo. El conejo means rabbit. So how do you say rabbit in Spanish? El conejo. Muy bien. Great job. Now, if I ask you, que ves? Do you remember what that means? Look at the little boy. It means, what do you see? Muy bien. So now I'm going to ask it again. Que ves? Now remember to answer starting with veo. And then you got to remember what rabbit means in Spanish. How do we say rabbit in Spanish? So what is your answer? Say it together. Veo un conejo. Veo un conejo. I see a rabbit. Veo un conejo. Repeat after me. Veo un conejo. Veo means I see. El conejo is rabbit, but we don't want to say I see the rabbit. We're going to say I see a rabbit. So we're going to say un conejo. Veo un conejo. Muy bien. Now, everybody knows that this is the egg. And in Spanish, we say el huevo. Repeat after me, el huevo. El huevo means egg. Repeat after me, el huevo. El huevo means egg. All right, you got that? Now try to remember it. Lock it in your brain. Now, I'm going to ask the question. ¿Qué ves? ¿Qué ves? Now, do you remember how to answer this? Remember what we start off with? Veo un huevo. Veo un huevo. Repeat after me. Veo un huevo. That means I see an egg. And if you want to say veo el huevo, meaning I see the egg, that's okay. If you said that, that's all right. We're not going to go into a whole lot about the us because it can get a little tricky. And for you guys, our younger children, we're not going to press it too much on um, distinguishing between a uh and the right now. All right? But that is great. That is great. All right. I think we're ready for another word. Now, what is this? It's a basket, you know. You know, Easter, it's got to put all of our goodies in a basket. <laughs> you know, they say don't put all your eggs in one basket, but we got to put some eggs and some 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 jelly beans, and we got the little chocolate Easter bunny here. We are ready and we are set to have a good time on Easter. But in Spanish, we're not going to say the basket. We're going to say la canasta. Can you say that? La canasta. Excelente, excelente. So, um, one more time, repeat after me, la canasta. Repeat after me, la canasta means basket. La canasta means basket. La canasta means basket. Now, what does la canasta mean? Basket. So, if I was to say to you, que ves, and you see what's here, right? How would you say it? You start off with, 
you see something, right? Veo. I see a canasta. Veo una canasta. Now I know somebody is saying, wait, 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 wait. How come before we said a uh, and we said un, un, and now we're saying una canasta? Well, the simple way to say it is if words end in a, it's usually going to be una canasta. If we're talking about a word and it ends in an O, we're probably going to use un. Now there's a more correct answer than that, but to make it simple for my younger children, we're just going to try to keep it. If it's an A word, we're going to say una. And if it's an O word, let me go back, an O word, we're going to say un. All right? So here, I would say veo un huevo, veo un huevo, huevo. So O here, we're going to say un. I see an egg. Canasta is an A word. Basket is an A word. Canasta. So we're going to use una for a. So I see a basket. I know it could be a little tricky. So if you want to say veo la canasta, you would be okay with that. But we would be saying, I see the basket. And here we're saying, I see a basket. All right. Do I have you con totally confused? I hope not. I hope not. All right. Let's move on. I think you're doing great. I think you're going to get the hang of it. All right. What do we have here? What do we have here? It's a chick. And we know around Easter we see lots of little chicks all right and how do we say chick in spanish we say el pollito can you repeat after me el pollito one more time el pollito means egg let's do it again el pollito and it's an o word so if I ask you, que ves, how would you answer me? Veo un pollito. Veo un pollito. Excelente. is actually a booklet so we have a lot of fun things for you in our booklet and it's all about Las Pascuas Librito de Lectura now libro libro means book libro means book and librito means little book so anytime you see the suffix ito it means little that's why librito means little book. So this is our little reading book all about Las Pascuas. 
So let's get started. Let's turn uh, to the first page. Let's read it together. Veo un conejo. Now what does that mean? You should remember. I see a rabbit. And here is where you get a chance to trace the letters so that you can write out the word conejo. But the sentence reads, El conejo es blanco. So now what do you think that means? We went over our colors. So you should be able to figure out what this sentence means. El conejo es blanco means the rabbit is what color? White. So I see a rabbit. The rabbit is white. So when you finish up, or I should say when, when I finish up um, going over the instructions, you can trace the word conejo for rabbit. Let's move on to our next picture. Could you read with me please? Veo una canasta. And we see canasta is a word ending in A and so una has an A in it. Unlike un with a word ending in O. So let's read it again. Veo una canasta. La canasta es café. So what does that mean? I see a basket. The basket is brown. Excelente. So when we come back or and stop the video, we will ask you to come back and trace those letters. But let's move on. We're going to read together. Read with me, please. Veo un huevo. El huevo es de colores. Now what does that mean? I see an egg. The egg is of colors. De means of, is of colors, which basically translates to the egg is colored, meaning that the egg would be colored many different colors. Now of course we're going to have you color it and you're going to color it more than one color to make this sentence correct. The egg is colored. Let's read Veo un pollito. El pollito es amarillo. And what does that mean? I see a chick. It's really a little chick because we see I-T-O. Pollito, chick. Pollo is chicken. It would be P-O-L-L-O. -L -L -O. Pollo is chicken and pollito is chick. El pollito es amarillo means the chick is what color? Yellow. Excellent. You have a great memory. We'll let you trace the words later. Okay, let's move on. Oh, now we have our question and we're going to answer it. Let's read it together. Que ves? Veo un conejo. So what does that mean? Que ves means what do you see? I see a rabbit. Let's read together. Que ves? Veo una canasta. What do you see? I see a basket. And we can see again that canasta ends in the letter A, so the word A will match with a meaning una ending in A and canasta ending in A. Okay, let's move on. Que ves, read with me. Que ves, veo un huevo. So you tell me what does it mean?
Excellent. You should have said, what do you see? I see an egg. Let's read it. Que ves? Veo un pollito. And that means what? Excellent. You should have said, what do you see? I see a chick. All right, excellent. So now we're going to have some fun. I want you to trace these two words, felices pasquas. Now you already know what pasquas is, right? It means what? Easter. Mm -hmm. Felices pasquas means happy Easter. Now we're going to help the Easter Bunny find his basket. So you're going to have to find, you know how to do a maze. Well, you have to try to get that Easter Bunny to the basket. And here on our next puzzle, we want you to unscramble each of the clue words. So here's the clue words that you have to unscramble. Well, here are the letters that you have to unscramble. And when you complete the unscramble and you figure it out, you're going to take the letter in the circle and unscramble those letters for the final message. So you unscramble the letters, put the correct word here, and then take the letters that appear in the circle box. Probably have to write them down over here, they'll be all scrambled, and then unscramble them again to find the secret message. So have fun. If you have any problems, I'll try to post an answer key for this. Um, and then, of course, I'll see you in class. But for those of you that I don't see in class, I'll try to post an answer key. So have fun. Go on back to uh, the beginning of your booklet and uh, trace um, your vocabulary words and then go on ahead and finish the puzzle when you have some time. Thanks so much for joining us, and we will see you soon. Hasta la vista. Well, boys and girls, that's about all the time we have today for Spanish. But you can keep going over our lessons by watching our videos and practicing. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Have a wonderful day. Adios.